Hey, Darren, how you doing? All right, thanks for including your work here. I see you've got two iterations, this one and this one. Well, they're the same. The only thing that's different is the color change. So I'll talk about this color. This color won't work because this is causing really severe visual vibration. That's covered in class. I need to turn this off because I'm one of those individuals that is affected by visual vibration to the point where it throws me into Believe it or not, it throws me into a migraine. So op art was something I could never look at. But basically, the point is visual vibration is caused by two highly contrasting colors, typically um, complementary colors as well, or uh, complementary hues, I should say. Um, so we, we want to avoid that. And that orange on that blue is just its too much. It causes a severe visual vibration. I don't recommend that. Okay, let's take a look at this piece here. And I'm going to pull this down here so that what I'm interested in is getting this right in the window here so we can take a look at the entire composition. Okay, a couple of problems here is that number one is you're using this peace sign as, as an illustration and that all meaning should be established typographically and not illustratively. If you were to work the peace sign into typography, it would be perfectly fine, but using it as, as, an, as a separate illustration it doesn't work because you're defining meaning based on illustration and not typography. And now the whole, the whole concept here is to establish meaning based on typography, okay? So this concept is out. I do have a, a, a definitely have some, some recommendations here. The other thing I wanna talk about is your kerning. So we can see that your type on a path here, but nonetheless, we're still, this, these letters are so far apart and these as well. Looks like none of this, it looks like this is all default right out of the computer. So we really need to get in here and, and kern these letters based on the the uh, letter the rules of kerning that we learned back in weeks one and two of the course. Um, right now we're lacking hierarchy and the reason being is because Malala Yousafzai is, is, is basically the same size as the Nobel Peace Prize. So you're not indicating one of these to, as to be in a, um, a position of high of, of dominance in, in terms of hierarchy. Um, that of course is done by creating emphasis and emphasis can be created by color scale or and something else and of the any one of the other techniques that we've learned throughout the weeks. Um, you might consider uh, some typographic variety by uh, mixing a serif with a sans serif as well. Okay, now as far as using this concept, all is not lost because you have a great, by the way, the illustration is not exact too. So we can see that this pie shape here is different than this pie shape, and this shape here is different than this shape. We've got some hiccups right down here. So that would have to be absolutely perfect in order for it to be used. Um, right now it's not. But we can't use it anyway, but I have, like I, as I said, I do have a reasonable alternative, and that alternative is it's placing the peace sign right in that closed counter of the, uh, the O in her name. Um, that, that could possibly be enough. Now, Malala was, the, the, the thing that we have here is, is you know, I'm going to check something here real quick. I'm, I'm going to put you on hold for one second. Okay, so, and, and I just wanted to continue on and, and say this, is that right now you're, you're making a connection between this is actually connecting to the Nobel Peace Prize. She won the Nobel Peace Prize, but don't you think it would be more effective to try to show some sort of meaning based on her accomplishments? as opposed to the award she won, okay? So in other words, she was a champion of equal um, rights for education for, for both boys and girls, and especially for, for all children, but specifically for girls. Um, but there's no alluding to that here. You're just saying Malala, peace, Nobel Peace Prize, and showing a peace sign, okay? So you might consider strengthening, strengthening your concept to try to make this connection between what she's known for and the, the, the winning the, the Nobel Prize. Does that make sense? Um, it's certainly, you're certainly fine. You're more than welcome to, to keep this concept so long as you work that peace sign into the typography as opposed to using it as a separate um, illustration. Okay, so those are my comments. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But I, I would, oh, one other thing is, is the relevance of the colors. What is the relevance of the blue? Is there any relevance? There should be if there's not. Definitely there should be. And um, and also what is the relevance of the combination between white 
and blue, or in the other case, orange and blue. So those are really important considerations as well. Okay, uh, questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, any of the above, please, of course, let me know. I'll be glad to provide anything that you need in that regard. And um, yeah, all right, so, so uh, just keep working hard. We'll get there, I promise. All right, great, thank you very much.